What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. So Surfshark is full of features. And if you're new to VPNs, you may not really understand them all. So today I'm gonna help you understand everything about Surfshark so that you can make better use of it. And if you guys are interested, of course, in Surfshark, or if you'd like to learn more about it, you'll find discounts as well as a full review in the description down below. Okay, so let's get started with the user interface here. By the way, the user interface is going to be very similar no matter what device you're on. So if you're on Mac, iOS, Android, or Windows, it's gonna be be very similar. So let's just make the window a little bigger here and get a really good look at the interface. So the first thing that stands out to me is this page right here, which tells your location. This is not my location. So uh, of course, I just wanted to conceal it. So I faked it. Um, and I did that by using another VPN. But never mind that. Let's get into the features here. You can quick connect if you'd like. You can go ahead and change the quick connect option also. Let's say I would like to choose the US server that is maybe the Dallas one. So this will be my quick connect. So you can just put your preferred server here and always have a one button connect to it and you've got some recommended stuff here before getting into these specialty servers there are over 3200 servers in a hundred countries which is just absolutely massive i mean most vpns don't even have like 50 countries on them uh let alone a hundred here so yeah great stuff with surfshark and you can search up any of these you know you can look up um new york um you can look up uh, cities and countries it doesn't really matter um, and let's see here, you've got static IP servers, which are servers that'll give you the same IP address every time you return to them. And again, this can be very useful when accessing bank accounts from uh, foreign countries and you wanna connect to your home country and always use the same IP address. Or if you'd like to just avoid um, any of these annoying CAPTCHAs, so you can just use a static IP address. Multi-hop is basically going to give you double the encryption. So it'll route your connection through two servers instead of just one for more security and you can even create whatever you know connection you want you can connect let's say dallas to new york or i don't know hong kong to australia whatever it is that you really want dedicated ip is basically static ip but nobody else can use the uh, ip address it's your own ip address and if we go to these settings here obviously you have all these extra features such as alert uh, antivirus and the search feature here all of these are great features that you get as extras, but we're gonna be focusing on the VPN only in this video. Uh, so you have some auto connect buttons here. Again, the quick connect that we messed with at the beginning, clean web, which is the ad blocker, the kill switch will kill your internet connection if the VPN disconnects unexpectedly, making sure that you're only gonna be connected to the internet while you're secured by the VPN tunnel, which is a great feature for security, especially if you're in a censorship heavy country and you want to make sure that none of your information gets leaked. You have some protocols here. The WireGuard one is going to be the best performing one. You can always go to automatic, but if you're looking for performance, stick to WireGuard. Bypasser is essentially split tunneling, and this will allow you to choose which applications are routed through the VPN and which are not. It's a very useful feature. And uh, you can also select specific IP addresses and websites to bypass the VPN very cool so how you can use this actually is um when you turn on the vpn let's say you want to open up your bank account you don't want them to spot that you're accessing it from a different ip address so that you don't risk getting your account temporarily suspended and then you have to speak to the bank to get it fixed here you can just tell the vpn hey whenever i go to the uh let's say e-banking website your bank's website it'll just ignore the vpn or rather the vpn won't affect the connection and you won't be getting into the uh banking website using the vpn's ip address but rather using your own ip address hopefully that made sense you can ask me in the comments below if you have any questions the speed tester will save you time from having to manually test the servers, so you can find the best servers for you depending on your location. Rotating IP will automatically rotate your IP address while your location stays the same. So this is great if you wanna cover up your tracks, especially if you're in a censorship heavy country, um, in which case you wanna turn on the no borders mode so that it helps you bypass the uh, firewalls, the censorship firewalls. Otherwise, that's basically it. 
Surfshark is essentially the best budget VPN that gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost uh, without sacrificing any of these security features like the kill switch and split tunneling, as you can tell. And you have all of these extra features. And if you pay, I think, uh, an extra dollar or two, you can get all of these uh, together. So including an antivirus and a couple of features that'll help you uh, spot malicious websites and whatnot and a safe search feature. It also works great with streaming, no matter what server you're connected to. It also fully supports peer-to-peer -peer activities and torrenting without any bandwidth limitations or restrictions. And Surfshark's also got a very solid no locks policy, meaning they don't collect your information or sell it to third parties. But for more information on that, you can check out the review below. And again, if you'd like an exclusive discount that'll give you three extra months for free, as you can tell right here, you'll find it in the description down below. Though, do note that the three extra months are going to be found only with the 24 month plan, which will save you the most in the long term. So if you need the VPN for just a month, sure, get it for just a month, um, but that'll cost you way more a month than the longer term plan. So keep that in mind. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.